I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. <laughs>
But I could not believe that the bankruptcy of this cult will go far to the point not only they try to attach themselves to Christianity, Judaism, even to attach themselves to the Hindus. Regarding the concept of God in Islam, it's quote to you Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Qul Allahu ahad. Say, He is Allah one and only. Allah Hussamad. Allah the absolute and eternal. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He begets not, nor is begotten. Walam There is nothing like him. This is a four-line definition of Almighty God given in the glorious Quran. Have you ever heard of definition like this? Say that Allah is one of, not one, one of. And then he don't give birth, neither he, get, neither he was born so. And nobody is equal like, like him. What does that mean? Still you don't tell me anything about your God. There's a, there's a concrete column in my yard. He don't give birth and he don't eat and he don't sleep. And he is one. Is that God? So when this God, he tried to tell about himself, he failed. All those information is useless. What we will do with this information? Is it really information? It doesn't make any sense. But not only that, they go farther. They try to find Allah in the Hindu scriptures. Any person says so and so candidate is God. If that <coughs> candidate fits in this four-line definition, we Muslims have got no objection in accepting that candidate as God. And this is exactly what is also mentioned in the Hindu scriptures, the same four points. The this is exactly what mentioned in the Hindu scriptures. Did you hear it, Muslims? Exactly. So if you Muslims consider the Hindus will go to hell, so how you are stealing the four point of the Hindu belief, I put it in your book. If you tell me the Hindu they start from us, people will laugh at you because the Hindus are exist thousand of years before you. Uh, there's a person he said, well, isn't it the flood of Noah? Is uh, the flood of Noah is mentioned somewhere in the Hindu scriptures. Uh, my friend, about the flood, not Noah. My friend, as long as the flood was a, was a global flood, so every nation should mention it. Why not? Like, do you think only the Christian, they, they, they knew it? Only the Jews? This was a global flood. So it's very normal that the Chinese will mention it, the Hindu will mention it, everybody will mention it. This is a proof that the Bible telling the truth. However, here we have a desperate religion trying to find their God in the book of the Hindus. And they say the Hindus believe in the same. The first is, Qul huwa Allah ahad. Say he is Allah wa Someone saying that Zakir Naik trying to convert Hindus. My friend, it doesn't work this way. Because now the Hindus, they will find that they are right. If you just say to them that we are religion came long after you, and we have the same concept of God. So why a Hindu will leave his concept of God and follow your concept of God, which is nothing new. You just told us it's the same. <laughs> so it's very stupid of those Abdul to say, oh, I'm going to try to convert the Hindus by saying we have the same concept of God. Because according to Islam, the Hindus are pagans. So if the Hindu, they have the same concept of God, so why you call them pagans then? What is exactly make them pagan for you? And if I am a Hindu, why now I'm going to leave my Hindu religion when I am the one who came long before you and you are copying me from me, obviously. Why I want to go after the fake religion and abandon the original one? Here's like a Nike start quoting for us his intelligence and his knowledge. Only. Same as Chandogya Upanishad, chapter number six, section number two, verse number one, which says, Ikkam evidityam, God is only one without a second. The second point, <coughs> Allah. You will notice here that the Hindu scriptures is more clear, way more clear than the, 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 the scriptures of, of Islam. Because uh, uh, when it says God is one without a second, right? The God of Islam, you know, he always speak about God as a second or third person. If we go in the Quran and we type the word we, and the Muslim, they will give you an answer, says, oh, well, when Allah, he say we, 
uh, he you know he is just making a majestic claim but this is the most stupid thing ever to say because why God need to use we to feel better if he is not we is he we or he is one hmm? Is he is he we or he is or inna? Let us say uh, inna. Who is the one who sent the Quran? One God or many God? If you read really the Quran, you will find that the one who sent the Quran is a group. It says inna. Look how many times. إِنَّا أَنْزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ الْكِتَابِ إِنَّا أَنْزَلْنَا التَّوْرَاتِ إِنَّا تَدْنَا إِنَّا 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 All of those is إِنَّا What إِنَّا mean? You go and read the translation. It says, Surely we have revealed the book to you. So, this God is one, but always he speak about we, God, sending down the book. But why does God he need to say we if he is one? So either we have to accept that this God is mentally ill, he feel better when he say we, or he is we. Do we have any Muslim can explain to us why Allah he say we? And by the way, for me, it doesn't matter really if Allah one or two or three, you see, having many gods will not change the fact of your God being true or not. If your God is true, or your gods is true, then your God is true. If somebody believe in a million God, and they are, they are exist, then nothing wrong with that then. The question is, is this God, is a true God? So what the Muslim themselves, they tell us, no, he is not a true God, why? Because there's no true God, he like to call himself a fake name. There's no true God, he will consider himself we when he is one. There's no true God, he need the letters to make him feel majestic or powerful. What is going to happen if Allah says, I? I mean, what is the problem? What he will lose exactly? Do we have any Muhammadan? My Skype is open, please feel free. Especially if you are a Sheikh, you are more than welcome to call me. Again, by the way, I want to remind you to subscribe to my other account, the Arabian Prophet. Maybe the admin, they can post it for you. Because soon we will stop going live here and we will go to the other account. So we will be here for a few, maybe a week or two or maybe less. Uh, and then we will start going live in the other account. All right. And for sure, it doesn't matter for you where I go, right? It is what, who is the person speaking, not where. It's just a YouTube channel anyway. So we will be in the Arabian Prophet. Remember to subscribe and join us. And you can always check where I'm going to be live in the in Patreon. Do we have any Muslim belong to the God we? Do we have any Muhammadan? He belong to the God we, so he can call us. Who is a Muslim? He followed the God we. May they, may they, may they. We need, we Muslims, to call the we Allah to tell us why he become we. And why he don't feel good for being I. What the we will do? Either you say it's a fake we or tell us why he is we. So the idea, the concept of Islam is, is, is messed up. Especially when he say, surely we have revealed. Anyone who knew, he have little brain. The second you say we, you are saying to me, we are many. You do not need to be genius. So how many revealed? Harun, he says, the queen say we. So Allah is a queen. The queen, she speak in the name of the nobles. 
who one of them one day will be a king too or a queen <laughs> or a queen <laughs> you see this is the shallow silly answer of the Muhammad and look at this answer the queen brother she say we okay but she is a queen because she is not ruling by herself she rule in the name of the nobles who choose her elected her to be a queen and one day she will die and the one of those nobles will become a queen or a king so when Allah he say we he is speaking in the name of other authority or he is the only one who have the authority is Allah elected by the nobles so in linguistic way it's a stupid in religion way it's a stupid it doesn't matter where you take it it's a stupid this is how the Muslims they explain their shallow God look at the answer and not only that Allah is comparing compared to she that's a good one by the way this is another question why Allah keeps saying it is he is your God Allah a male or a female so let us put he next to we so now we have he we I mean how stupid is that he and we how Allah speak about himself and he say we and then he say he okay who the one who say he, he who is who who is he we understand that now the one is, is talking is a group group of Allah's they are saying we but when the Quran says it is he who created for you who is talking the Muslim they will say to us Allah if Allah is the one is talking why is saying it is he so who is here from the Muhammadan who follow he we God there's anybody my Skype is open if you are a person who follow he we please text me in Skype and I will be happy to call you and we can hear your answer you know I have no problem with your God being he we but it sound like I don't know it sound like this God is coming from Hawaii and he have a bunch of feather around his waist like he we like what is that then if we read the whole Quran to understand who is this God we got nothing you see the Muslim they say is Allah have 99 names right <clears throat> 99 names if you read those names you will see the most stupid names ever and none of them is even telling us who is this Allah what is this do we have any Muhammadan may they may they if you are a person who follow he we God please you are welcome to call us and we will listen to you carefully very carefully until now I see no text message from anyone who follow he we God that's good at least they notice that their God doesn't make sense. That's why they are not contacting us. Otherwise, trust me, they will be lined up to prove us wrong. Don't text me in Skype, please, unless you are a Muslim, you want me to call you. You have to be a Muhammadan who follow the He We God. If you are not a Muhammadan who follow the He We God, don't send me hello. anyone you see the the Muslim the funny they say to us why you don't debate this guy why you don't debate this guy first of all we don't debate Muhammadan just to let you know I never debated one here we do roasting debate have to be first between two decent people 
Have you ever heard of a Muslim defending Islam was decent in his answer? The only one who can be decent is the one maybe from ISIS. He say it as it is. Yeah, this is what he says. Maybe from Al-Qaeda. But I never saw a Muslim in YouTube who live in the West or even those who live in Saudi Arabia because they fear their, their government to say what really Islam is about. Do we have anyone who believe in Hiwi? God? After we finish, then you will see the Muslim saying, why you don't debate this guy? Why you don't debate this guy? Give me their Skype, I will call them right now. With no exception. I don't care what their name, Susu, so, so, Dudu, do, do, Mimi, Sufu, so, Fufu, uh, Kuku, all of them, still they are he, we, God worshippers, and they cannot answer me, and they cannot debate me. Last time we have a Muslim, he called me, he promised he is going to call his imam. I don't know if he's listening. Did he call your imam? What happened to this guy? Remember him? He said he want to call the mufti. Not only the imam, the mufti. Which means the highest of the imams. It's like saying the, the patriarch. The highest bishop. The mufti. Hmm? So do we have anyone from the he, we, God followers would like to call us? Anyone? Nobody? Okay. Well, then we continue with the, with the, and then here, Allah, he says, supposedly, the one is talking is Allah, is one, most of them, they say, surely we reveal the book to judge between people. Muslims, did Allah reveal the book to Muhammad? Who is a Muhammad and he agree that Allah, he revealed the book? Who is a Muhammad and here? He agree that Allah he revealed a book. First in Arabic it doesn't say we revealed. In Arabic it says wa anzalna. Anzalna mean we send down. Muslims, did Allah send down a book to Muhammad? My friend, he can, you know, you or, you know, you, he can contact me in Skype. No problem. Your friend from the UK. My Skype is open, as you see. I don't know who will contact me. I don't know who is going to call me. You have to text me first, and then I will call you. Just text me. Say I'm a Muslim. I will call you. Here you see the stupidity of this, 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 this religion. Because Allah never sent a book to Muhammad. Never. How in the world the Quran says we send you a book? Not only we send you, we send you down. If Allah he sent down a book, then when this verse was mentioned, Muhammad have a book already. Is that correct, people? Are we listening? You see, if you are writing an article about politics, people will laugh at you if you are Allah. If you are writing an article about psychology, people will die laughing at you if you are Allah. If you are writing an article about religion, here we go, we are laughing at you, Allah. You did not send to Muhammad a book yet, so how you say that we send down a book for you? I mean, every single word is a stupid. Muhammadan, did Muhammad receive a book? Chapter 4, verse number 105 says, 
I send you down a book. Did he send a book? If you say to me, Allah don't mean a book, and he say a book, that's mean Allah is a liar. In the best scenario, Allah don't speak good Arabic. Like Christian Prince one day, because his English was bad, he went to a chat room, instead of saying, hello guys, I said, hello gays. But this is a Christian Prince, and English is not his first language. So it's an accepted for a person who don't speak good English, he's learning to say such a mistake, or to do such a mistake. But this is God. We have a Muslim saying he is a Muslim. Let us see. <clears throat> Let us hope that this is not someone his first name start with ultimate <laughs> and end with fourth. <laughs> <coughs> Same, I think. But probably, probably. He hang up. I don't know what happened. It says Abdul is unavailable. Eh, what we can do? Abdul is unavailable. What you can do about that? Is any available? Okay, Abdul. When you are available, let me know. All right. So, do we have any Abdul? He is available. Anyone? Hello. I need your comment about Ustaz Harry Harawan from Indonesia. Are you sure his name is Harry Harawan, not Harry Boot, not Harry Booter? Who in the world this is Harry Harawan? I have no idea. <laughs> we have too much. You know, we we Middle East and we are Arab. We are very hairy already. So we do not need a Harry Ustaz. His name is Harry Ustaz. Okay. What happened? Do you know that the Bible supports slavery, Muslim in? Oh, thank you, thank you, uh, Muslim for telling us. We do not know that. But the stupid thing is that all your religion is about slavery. Like, are you making a point to prove the Bible wrong or to prove the Bible right? Isn't it your prophet, he have tons of slaves, one of them is Bilal, and the poor Bilal was begging for his freedom. Please free me for, if you bought me for the sake of Allah, free me for the sake of Allah. <laughs> Supposedly the Muslim is like, like he's putting you in the corner. Like, do you know? Muslim, no. I just heard that from you. But how your stupid prophet, he says, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. Like, what the heck? I think your prophet, when he said that, he was taking too much hashish. And why he not? I mean, look at this prophet. He is following a God. This God surely is not sure if he is he or we. Do you see the word surely? I love it. Surely, we is sure that he is we. How sure you are? Are you sure like Allah that Allah is we? Or you believe that Allah is not we? <clears throat> Any Abdul? Now, if you have a, if you have an Ustad from Indonesia, <clears throat> now, I don't speak Indonesian for sure. You have to get me somebody speak English. Or he is welcome to call me and he bring a translator with him. That would be good. Right? So, surely we have revealed, we have revealed a book.
anyone from those who follow surely God Muqtada Muqtada al Arabi no my friend I don't have any I don't use uh, WhatsApp you know why I want to use WhatsApp I mean look we are reading the book of WhatsApp the whole book is what's up. You read it from the end to the end to the, to the to the beginning to the end. And by the way, where is the end and where is the beginning? Because the Muslim they switch the end, the end, the, the end, the, the, the beginning they put it in the end, and the end they put it in the beginning. <laughs> so the whole Quran is what's up. After finishing the reading the whole Quran, you come with a conclusion with what? What's up? Because you understand nothing. This book is the book of what's up. Who is the God is talking? Okay, Mr. Abdul Aziz is trying to contact me again. <clears throat> I think this guy is just an idiot. I call him, he declined the call. Let us block you. You're just a kid. Do we have anyone? From those who follow God, what's up? The what's up God? Surely we have revealed the book. I mean, this is a verse we did not even read the whole book. <clears throat> and look at the stupidity of the Quran. Allah is saying to Muhammad, don't debate those who don't believe. The unfaithful one. So he will debate who? He will debate those who believe? Any Muhammadan? Again, reminder, in a few days from now, we will let you know when we start going live in the Arabian Prophet account. So please subscribe to the other account and you know uh, so you can join us when we go there because we will disappear here in this channel for some time and then you might think okay christian prince is coming online no more so we are telling you from now we will be live in the arabian prophet account and the admins are posting the link for you so please click and subscribe do we have any muhammadan from those who follow the god he we those who follow God, who advises the prophet not to debate those who don't believe. Mm. Yeah. Anyone from those who follow He, We, God? Me personally, I have no problem with He, We, God. I like We, Gods. I don't like like. Come on, We, Gods. It's like more friendly. Like you, you, imagine you go to a place you want to take a, a lunch or a dinner. Sitting alone, like you know, like a monkey by yourself. Like, come on, don't do that. You have we God are sticking with you. We go to heaven of Allah, we have we Allah. And then the we Allah is going to show us his shin. How many shin? There are we there. There's we shin. Is it one shin or many shin? Uh, Mr. Big Man is saying, Allah is God. What type of a question is this? <laughs> big Man, you must be very big, man. <laughs> uh, honestly, Big Man, how long it take you or took you to come with this answer? Allah is God? Okay, is he one God or too many gods? Mr. Big Man? Is your brain big as you are a big man or your brain is a small? How many God, your God, the one he is God? Mm. Uh, Muslim, in my friend, I would like to read the Gospel of Thomas. The question is why your stupid prophet did not approve it? 
As long as you are asking me to read it, why you Muslim don't go read it and accept it then? Abdul, ya Abdul, you eat too much food. Abdul, ya Abdul. Genius! They don't accept that book and he's asking me to read that book. <laughs> but we don't accept that book too. Stupid. Abdul, stop taking hashish. We want an answer. In the top of that, Abdul, the Quran says, confirming what is with them and what is with us is not the book of Thomas as the one you claim. Abdul, are you against your God, Mr. We? Do we have any person who follow the we he God to call us? Please don't use a bad language in the chat because YouTube will not even let it go. All right. So don't use those words because YouTube will block it automatically. So please don't waste your time, my friend. Who is a Muhammadan would like to tell us when Allah, he said, surely we have revealed the book. Do you Muslim knows how many Allah you have? How you can confirm that he is his one? How we can confirm that Allah is one when he keeps saying we? Any Muslim? Is that we in the Quran is a mistake? Is that an exaggeration? Allah is one God? Okay, prove it to me. If Allah is one God, so why he say we? His a majesty? So Allah, he feel that he cannot be a majesty unless he call himself ruler. That's wonderful explanation, guys. Listen carefully. You see, uh, a big man, we are people who listen carefully to the answers, not like Muhammadan. So look what you just said. Your God, he like to call himself we because that make him feel he is majestic. That's what you just said, correct? That's wonderful. So Allah, he is feeling not good when he is one God. It is better for Allah in order to be majesty to call himself we. And it's you who said that. So it's more fit for God to be we, not to be he. And listen, we are following your answer, word by word. So Allah, he said in his office, he said to himself, hmm, I saw the king of Jordan, he keeps saying we. <laughs> this guy is not even five foot tall, and he wear a high heels to make himself five two. What about me, and I am bigger? So, I'm going to use the word we too, so I can be majesty. Because if I am not using the word we, I don't feel good. Do you know the song? It says, I feel good. La 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 la. So good. La la. So good. So I can imagine what happened to Allah after he learned to use the word we. Because now he feel way better. He is one God, but he cannot be we. So he have to add we, call himself we, but he is not we. So this is a fake we. This is what? This is a fake way. This is the truth. Muslim in, I'm going to block you because you are changing our topic. Just get lost. Take a hike. Coward. Go do mata. Allah is one God. It is repeated over and over and over and over and over. But yet Allah, he say we. Solve this problem for me. I mean, do you see how it's repeated over, but Allah, he repeat over and over too, saying, it's we who send down the book. If Allah is the one who said the book, then Allah here is lying by saying it is we. Because majestic we, it can be majestic for the king he rule in the name of the nobles, not only by himself. That's why he say we. The king, he don't have an absolute authority. He was elected 
one of the noble will become a king. So he speak in the name of him and the noble. So he say we. Allah, he speak in the name of who? So either this we is a true or this we is a fabrication. Mr. Muqtada we got it, my friend. I got it. Your last middle name is Abdul. It's okay. It's not your fault. You do not choose it. <coughs> Any Muhammadan? So this is the best answer you have. Allah, he, Allah, he called himself we because it's for majesty. <laughs> but that's mean it is, it is majesty only if God is we. It is not majesty if God is one. Correct people? Isn't it, this is what the Muhammadan are saying to us? It is not right for God to be one. It is right for God to be we because that make him look more powerful. Look, majesty. So the poor Allah, he was looking for a suit, bigger suit, he's short, you know, he want to make himself look bigger. So he said to himself, I'm going to buy a, 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 a suit of a, of a person is 90 foot tall, and I will wear, I will put my head in the top of the jacket, and the pants will go in down using wood. So I can look like we? You see, my friend, how silly. The second you ask them about their God, they have no idea what to say. That's why we say, who is Allah always? Nobody can answer. It's clear that this is a fabrication. Either the Muslim, they have to accept that there's many gods. Or they have to accept that the Quran is written by a fabricator who don't even speak with Arabic. <clears throat> uh, why do you make Muslims your man target of fame? My friend, I do not need a fame. Uh, your prophet, he make the Christians a target, target of fame then. Let us call you. Don't be a potato and answer. <laughs> Okay, take a hike if I go by what the Muslim they say to me look at the excuse this guy he just said to me why do you make Muslims your main I think you want to say main target of fame okay I will go with you so your Quran who keep attacking the Christian and the Jews that's mean Allah is trying to be a fame God answer me why is every name in the Bible American names when the Bible was wrote ABC or BC, ABC, BC time? <laughs> I go, kid, let your dad call me. Don't text me in Skype. Here, Skype is only for call. If you don't dare to let me call you, don't text me. Potato. Potato, potato, potato. Potato, 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 potato. The Jewish scriptures teach that Elohim is a horrific title which express the pearl of majesty. Not a single rabbi will tell you this multiple gods. You know, Abdul, you see the stupidity here is amazing. The Muslim, they say to us, where in the Old Testament we can see the Trinity? <laughs> Not a single rabbi, if not a single rabbi, and, and then the God in the Old Testament, he says, God and his spirit. God and the Holy Spirit. Before the creation. So you silly you. You are saying to me, not even one rabbi. Every rabbi believe that God, Elohim, Believe in the Holy Spirit, and every Jew is waiting for the Messiah. And every rabbi knew that God the Lord, he appeared to Abraham. So Muslims, they are suddenly skilled 
in the Torah, in the scriptures, but they cannot answer our book, their book. <laughs> yeah, as as a as a as a great man, his name is Father Zachariah. He said, I heard it from people saying, Masturun was a Quran, Katibul Quran. Yakra of Finjan. Wikitabuhu Bila in one. Wahimarun Lay Sadahu Sharon Wala Diwan. Wuma Adraka Massacran. Dobbun Fi Harujin. Alayhi Dobbun. Any Muslim can answer us. Here we go. You, you just made me make Quran now. So you see what you did? <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? By the way, if you do not know, I, I, I make poetry way better than the stupid Quran, real poetry, not the stupid Finjanun wa Inwanun wa Jarbanun wa Fi'ran. Inna anzalna alayka al-fool, ya ahbalun ya mastool. This is Quran. No, this is coming in a Semitic language. You are not being honest. Semitic language, my friend, first of all, just to show you how stupid you are. Let us go with you. If it's coming in the Semitic language and your God Allah is changing his nature to fit with the Semitic language, that means Allah is not God. So either he is one, and there's no trinity, there's no such a thing, or this word here does not fit with the nature of Allah. So let us say for the sake of argument, the Jews they have in their book, as you say, the pearl word of word gods, but the Jews don't believe in gods, neither us. Who said that we believe in gods? We don't believe in gods, we believe in one God. But for us, we believe in the same time that God is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, one God. So if God, he says in the Bible, and we can show you verses in the Bible, says God, he said we, there doesn't, it makes sense. The Bible says everything was created for him and by him. Speaking about who? About Jesus. Everything created by him and for him. The Muslim, they say, every created by Allah for Muhammad. <laughs> Who is a brave Muslim? He is willing to call me so we can hear your voice and people can hear your opinion. Stop being a coward. Like this guy, big man, we, we tried to call him. He, he declined the call. I, I have to block him in, in Skype because he's just been annoying texting me. We as a Christians, we believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Jews, they believe in the same. If you say to me, the word Trinity is not in the Bible word, the word Tawheed is not in the Quran too. It's not. Actually, when we ask the Muslims, where is the, where, where Allah, he says he is, he is that, the, like uh, 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 Zakir Naik was quoting uh, uh, the chapter of Al-Ikhlas. In the Quran today is in the end of the Quran. So Allah He waited until the, the end of the Quran to tell Allah to tell Muhammad, who is Allah? If we go in the Quran here and we ask the Muhammadan, when Allah He told Muhammad if He is one or many or two or three or four. They will say to you in chapter of Al-Ikhlas. But this is a chapter 112. So Allah waited until Muhammad almost dead. And now he decided to him say Allah is one. And by the way, in Arabic doesn't say one. It says, Qul huwa Allahu Ahad. Ahad is one of the names of the idols. This is why there's 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 people who their name Abdu Ahad, Abdu Uzza. Abdul Samud, Abdul Samad, 
Those are names of idols. So say that Allah is Ahad, he is one of those idols, his name is Ahad. Say he's Allah is Samad, he's, he's a Samud, there's an idol, his name is Samud. And the proof that he's an idol, he never gave birth, he never begotten. This is an this is a this this is a rock who who will never give birth and never be gotten. But okay, but how but how he became exist? They didn't know. Okay, and none is like him. Well, you know what? I have a duck in my yard in the shape of a duck made from concrete. No one like her. Must be this is God because look, she don't give birth. She never been give, given birth, and she is uh, no one like, equal to her. <laughs> <laughs> no, Abdul Ahad is not the same. Ab Abdul Ahad, we are talking about. Abdul Ahad is a, is, a, is a different name. Yeah. So when when the Muslim they have this chapter and the, they claim that this is, a, and by the way, they will say to you, oh no no no, this chapter it is in the Quran today at one twelve, but in the original Quran it is number twenty two. <laughs> Yeah, in Arabic, in Arabic, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ أَحَدْ mean one off. But if you go to the origin, أَحَدْ is one of the names of the idols. So if you copy this word, actually, if you copy this word, just exactly the same word, you know, and post it in the search engine, you will find it all over, all over the Quran. What happened to my browser? Uh oh. My keyboard is not working. Don't tell me the battery is off. Ah, now it's connected. I don't know what happened to my keyboard. It suddenly disconnected. All right. Hmm. Chapter 2, verse 102. وَمَا يُعَلِّمَانِ مِنْ أَحَد This is Ahad. Read the translation, it says, and they did not teach any, any of. وَلَا نُفَرِّقُ بَيْنَ أَحَد We don't distinguish between any of. Here we go, chapter 2, verse 136. This is what Ahad mean. We don't distinguish between any of. The prophets. This is how stupid this book is. Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan? He can tell us. The nature of his God. All, so all what you know that you have uh, a God, his name is Allah, and actually his name is not Allah. We can prove it in two seconds. If we go to the first chapter in the Quran, the first one, you will see right away. It says. And by the way, here the word bism is wrong because there's no such a thing in Arabic, bism. It is bism. So uh, Farahidi uh, uh, is one of those who work in the Quran and they changed, they took the letter alif because to make it easier to read. Then here it says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Okay, you go to the second verse, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Where is Allah? Look, Allah changed. Here Allah have Aleph in the beginning. Here there's no Aleph. So is the Aleph is part of the name of Allah? Obviously no. My friend, Ahad mean one off in Arabic. Ahad mean one off in Arabic. Ahad mean one off in Arabic. Do we need to repeat that? But there is an idol too. His name is Ahad. Did you get the point? Do we need to repeat again and again? Ahad is a word mean one off in Arabic. But there was an idol around the Kaaba. His name is Ahad too. 
So don't keep asking, I thought, I thought, I thought. No, you did not thought. It is what it is. In Arabic, I had mean one off. Okay. So even the word Allah is not the name of your God. Because if Allah is the name of your God, then you're going to say, Alhamdulillahi, Lillahi. Here we go. Let me, let me, let me uh, make it uh, in, in part for you. You like it in part, don't you? <laughs> you are very cute. Yeah, this is Allah. Oh, we are typing in yellow. Allah, already we cannot see him. You want to make him in yellow? <laughs> like, come on. What in yellow? In yellow? Allah in yellow? Oh, come on, don't do that. We can't see him already. Let us, uh, let us wipe this screen here and type Allah again in red. Let us give him a red. Like why it's coming in yellow again? Like what's wrong with this? There's a conspiracy. I think there's a conspiracy, don't you think so? Let us change the color again. Unbelievable, man. Ah, because I forgot to say inshallah. <laughs> so this is Allah. Then in verse number two, it says, Alhamdulillah, li la. Let us write it. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm not going to write it. I'm going to copy it in front of your eyes. Is that good? That's better, right? I will copy it in the front of your eyes. As it is. All right, we go down. Copy, paste. Eh? Look, I, I, I cut Allah <laughs> by mistake. I cut him. Sorry, Muslim, I don't mean that. Okay, forgive me, please. I don't mean to cut Allah. You cannot cut Allah. What's wrong with you? Well, I was trying to copy here. I don't know why it's coming cut off. Let me try again. I mean, my mouse is not working, man. Okay, let's try now. Okay. Please don't give me Allah cut off. Don't do that. If Allah, he see this, I am history. Oh, again, it's cutting off. Like, what's wrong? Let me copy the whole sentence. Something fishy here. Hold on. All right, we go back. We are copy. We are going to copy the whole sentence. Maybe that will work. Okay, now two 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 words. Let us try this. Okay, now. Let us see if we can be successful. Finally! Okay, look at this. Let us delete the first word. Bingo! Muslims, what is Allah? What is Allah? What happened to the word Allah? This is Allah. What happened? Lilah. Your God name is Lah. Al is a word mean in Arabic, in our Arabic today, is a word, or let us say a, a, a tool to like the same as the word uh, the in English. But in the original Aramaic and Hebrew, the word Li, sorry, Al is equal to God. Oh, we are typing in English, in Arabic. Al is equal to God. So when the first word says Allah, starting with the letter A-L, A-L, that is the word God. So think about it. God lah. What about here? The stutter here, lillah. Simply lillah. Letter li mean two. Let us move it down. Let us make it in different colors so people can see the different. Let us make it blue now. Li. Oh, go to Arabic. Li lah.
if we take the first L, this is the word Li, which means two, that was left. That is your God. And because they are using Tashkil, La, huh? that will make an Aleph, God La. If you go here, you see, here, for those who speak Arabic, they will see the Tashkil. Tashkil simply is when you, uh, like, to make the word shorter, to not to write letters twice. Do you see this letter here, this uh, this movement here? Let us make it an arrow, hold on. An arrow, and we will use red, uh, blue. You see this thing in the top? This is to double the letter. So here now, what we will have, we will have a new letter, la, god la. La. I'm writing Arabic with my mouse, okay? This is your God. Your real God name is La. Go right now and search in Google. You will find that La is the moon God. Any Muslim have an objection? La is the moon god so when the muslim they say our god his name is allah actually by the way every one of them he give you a different definition like i i saw the the, the abdul uh, this guy who calls me uthman he said the word allah is coming from elohim <laughs> al -ilah, al -ilah. <laughs> i mean they are so desperate even to find the name of their god where it's coming from i mean have you ever heard of religion they don't know where their god is coming from I look at the prophet, I look at the moon. I look at the prophet, I look at the moon. I look at the prophet, I look at the moon. I look at the prophet, I look at the moon. Don't say that in San Francisco. Trust me. By the morning, you will find half of the city moving to Mecca, looking for the guy who looked better than the moon. And they will take with them a lot of candles. I assure you. I mean, what the heck with this religion? They worship the guy Muhammad. He is so pretty, but he's so stupid. And by the way, is he really pretty? I mean, is it, come on, Muslims. Is he really pretty? So why nobody want to marry him? <laughs> like me, unbelievable. You know, once I, I, you know, I went to, and I, you know, I, I moved to a place. Uh, 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 I didn't know there's a mirror. So I opened the door and I, I saw myself in the mirror. I was shocked, like was, like what like you know i don't want to describe for you what happened to me i like i look at myself i look at the mirror i look at myself i look at the mirror i look at this i look at the moon i look at the prophet i look at the moon i look at the prophet and believe it's it is it is i cannot tell you the the, the feeling until now we have zero muhammadan try to call us any abdul So Allah is majestic. That's what the Muslim they say to us. So he called himself we. Allah is copying Elohim. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Question, as long as Allah is copying Elohim, why he don't use the word Elohim in the Quran? Like, what's wrong with this God? Me. Hmm. Do we have any Abdul? <sighs> any Muhammadan? Zero Muhammadan until now. Victory to Jesus. Allah is defeated. Okay, who is a Muhammadan? He knew a sheikh. He have his sky published so we can call him. A sheikh, he lived like, let us say, in a country where it is daytime now. We don't want to wake up like people. It's night like in Europe. 
So if you know a sheikh, he live like in Indonesia, uh -huh. in Malaysia, uh -huh. or in USA. Uh huh. Well, it's a uh, new USA is getting late now, actually. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't understand how the word "I'll become God" is did not become God. This is how it is. It's not up to you. So, as an example, in the old in the old Hebrew, the word Daniel it was actually until now in Arabic we say Daniel Al. You know, Gabriel used to be Gabriel. Israel used to be Israel. So the word Il. The word il by time in the new Hebrew replace the old Hebrew where the word was a l became a il. So al mika al. Oh. Al become il. Did you get it now? Did you get it? So this is why we say Emmanuel. Il is a word meaning God. Gabriel. Gabriel used to be Gabriel. Mikael used to be Mikael. So uh, Ishmael used to be Mish uh, Ishmael. So all the all the uh, uh, the A L replaced with E L. It is a word meaning God. So uh and in, yeah, in the old, in the in the ancient Aramaic, still they are using the word uh, uh, al until now. So uh, uh, the word il is not, you know, like it's not a name really. It is a word meaning God. So uh, uh, Muhammad, because he's a thief, he took names. You ask yourself, okay, where is the name Gabriel is coming from? If you ask every single Muhammad, and they don't know what the word means. This is telling you that Islam is a theft. Shouldn't, shouldn't Allah tell Muhammad what uh, uh, what uh, what uh, uh, Gabriel mean? He never told him. <clears throat> Let us see. We have Abbas Muhammad. Let us see Abbas Muhammad. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Are you going to play like a kid? You want to talk or what? Yeah, here we go. Uh, now I know what you are doing. You are trying to have orgasm like you're a prophet. My friend, it doesn't work this way. You have to invoke Allah to send you a dish of shish kebab. And then Allah will send you a dish of shish kebab and you will eat it, but don't let Fatima eat with you. <laughs> and then you will get the 40 power, power, manpower to talk to me. What a shame. What a shame. Don't do that online, man. Don't do that. Do, you, do your mom know what you are doing? I mean, should I tell her now? Let me call your mom. Taradum, taradum. Taradum, taradum. Teredim, teredim. Christian Prince, why are you calling me? Hey, Zachary Naik, how in the world you call? And I'm, I'm calling the mom of the guy. How you are answering the phone? Christian Prince, I am a teaching my wife, and I am a sleeping with his mom. And now you are calling me, and now everybody knows. Hey, don't tell this on the audio line, man. Come on, nobody knows that you are with her. Come on. I just, okay, just hang up. Nobody heard what you said, except YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You know, don't worry. Okay, Christian Prince, please delete the number. Are you okay, how are you knowing? How in the world I called his mom? Why you are answering? I mean, come on, Zakia. Okay, Zakia, he hang up. Unbelievable. Do you have any brave Abdul? My friend, don't play games with me. You are no match. Trust me, you are no match. You are so slow. And I am so fast. I mean, I'm not like fast like your prophet in that meaning. Don't take me wrong. Your prophet used to go and do boom, boom to all his wife in one hour. <laughs> Fisa. And so at that time, by the way, it was like this than 15 minutes. I mean, what? He's a, he's a rabbit. 
all his wives in 15 minutes like how i mean he need 15 minutes just to dress up and take off dress up and take off dress and up like what the heck do you think he was a rabbit from the rabbitin valley who is a muslim would like to call us and tell us what he worship really you muslims you have no idea you are following a pagan god and you are pagan to the point you are desperate trying to attach yourself to the Hindus. I mean, you went really, really so stupid far. Hindus! You Muslims could not find your God. So, Sometimes they want to find their prophet in the Old Testament. Sometimes they want to find their prophet in the New Testament. And now they are trying to find their prophet and their God in the, in the, in the who? The funny, Zach and Naik, he admit saying that the scriptures of the hindus he considered scriptures he don't say books you see the when you say scriptures it's meaning you believe it's from god concept of god in hinduism and islam is the same do you see it muslims so don't ever come back to us and say, oh, we Muslims are not pagan. Oh, we Muslims are not like the Hindus. This is your scholar. He have 2.9 million subscribers. Do you subscribe to him because he's stupid or because he's smart? From now on, every Christian should remember. If a Muslim, he says to you, we are not pagans. We are not the same as the Hindus say to them, well, the concept of God of Hinduism and Islam is the same. And as long the Hindus will exist long before you, thousands of years before you, it's mean Muhammad, he stole his religion from the Hindus. And then he mixed it with some Christianity and some Judaism and some Sabian and some Zulkarnain, you know, <laughs> Zulkarnain. The man with the two horns where he found the sun sitting in murky water. Hey Muslims, Zulkarnain was an idiot or Allah was the idiot? Brother, it was Zulkarnain in his perception. He thought, brother, that the sun sat in murky water. My friend, the Quran doesn't say he thought. The Quran says not in his perception. Perception, perception, sorry. <laughs> I mean, they start to add words to fix it. And the more they try to fix it, the more they make it blind. You know, uh, Islam is like is like a, a, a woman. She is trying to do her makeup, and she is riding a jeep in the middle of the uh, in the middle of of a of a field full of rocks, and she is holding lipstick in her hand, and she is trying to put the lipstick on her face, and the lipstick is going all over, all over, all over like what the heck don't you think it's pretty now yes sister you look so pretty so good the prophet looks so pretty too and look what the lips stick is all over see your nose now oh you cover, you cover your eyebrows uh, sister now it's going in your neck uh, don't go down no 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 go up go up what i can do the jeep is keep jumping up and down this is what the most they do they try to put a makeup in their city prophet and now this is the new makeup they come with that the concept of Islam is the same as the concept of Hinduism. I'm so glad. I mean, I'm really so glad. I mean, I mean it. Muslims, do you mean it? So we have one, he said to us, the concept of God in Islam and the Hindu is the same. And the other guy, he says to us, Muhammad was not Abrahamic. He did not know what Abraham faith is because he was from the pagan brother. Like, what the heck? So all those years we keep saying the same, the Muslim, they say, oh, you are lying. You are lying. The prophet was Abrahamic. Like, well, Christian, Christian prince is lying to you. Look, my friend, I can, I can prove it to you. Liar. By the way, did you hear any Muslim making a video to get this guy busted? Accuse him to be a liar? <laughs> Man. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca... Muhammad was so dumb to the point he did not even know what, what, what Gabriel is. Hey, Muhammad, do you know who's Gabriel? No. You never heard of him, right? No. Never, never? No. 
not even like words somebody says something to you about there is an angel his name is Gabriel like Christians Jews you know no nope, I never heard before mm. so remember Muhammad you don't know who is Gabriel Muslim it's not me who's saying that it is you you're silly the guy you claim that he can debate me but he don't dare even to give me his Skype where is your Skype Burqa boy eh? the prophet he free Maria the Copt and he honor her to marry her what a scam potato you are uh, yeah well anyway he like tall guys. He saw David Wood. He says to him, "Mashallah, you are six foot." Like what the heck? I mean, this this religion is so into men. Unbelievable. Mashallah, you are six. Foot. You you like you, you like tall guys, don't you, Sheikh Uthman? Right? I mean, the guy he ate the Quran, and you are f flirting with him. If a woman she said to the guy, "You are six foot tall." I understand, but it's you're a guy. You are a guy. You say to the other guy, Mashallah, you are six foot tall. What you were thinking? What exactly you were thinking? I'm so glad you stopped there. You did not ask more questions. So, Muhammad, he do not know who is the brother. The brother. He don't know Zebrail. And what I like it, that, that, that Christian gentleman, he said, he said to him, yeah, yeah, mm, 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 which means, like, yeah, give me your crap, you know? <laughs> he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Honest mention of this book. He don't know who is Gabriel. He is not from Abrahamic faith. And the people of Mecca are pagan. So he's a pagan too. Thank you very much. And this is the other idiot. He decided to prove that the Quran is from God. So he quoted a verse from the Quran. It's from other than God. They would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, when, when this Mimi, he mentioned this uh, no contradiction. I mean, the whole Quran is a contradiction. What are you talking about? Every chapter is a contradiction. But what make it more so stupid is there's a God. He is saying, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find a contradiction. And then we find tons of contradiction in the Quran. <laughs> and not only that, then they ask an atheist to help them to fight Christianity. And they told him, the Quran says, if this is a book not from Allah, you will find a contradiction. Then the atheist, he said to him, you idiot, stupid, donkey. I have a phone book. Literally, a phone book is way better organized than the Quran. And I have zero contradiction. Contradiction. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding exactly prove me wrong who is a muslim he believe with understanding who is a muslim he believe with understanding <clears throat> my friends don't send me messages in skype please don't send me messages in skype i will block you Skype is only for Muslims to contact me. You have a comment, you make it in the chat. Do we have any Abdul? Anyone? Any Muhammadan? How many of you did not subscribe yet to the other account, the Arabian Prophet? If you did not, just let you know. In a few days from now, we will stop coming in this account for some time. We will give this account a break. And we will be going live in the other account, the Arabian Prophet. So please subscribe. The, the admins are posting the links for you. So you can subscribe there. And you will not miss it, if you care. If you don't care, then forget about it. Do we have any Muhammadan? Muqtada uh, al-Arabi. If you repeat that one more time, I will block you. We got it. We got it that your middle name is Abdul. We got it. Thank you. 
Are you are you like Allah? Allah keep repeating the same stupid sentence over and over and over. My middle name is Abdul. My middle name is Abdul. We got it. I never heard of a God he kept repeating himself like Allah. The genius Allah. Any Abdul? Uh, <clears throat> can any Muslim show me the surahs and ayat the Quran command Muslim to pray uh, five times in fact the Quran ordered the Muslim to pray three times three times and this is additional proof of the stupidity of Islam because why Allah he says uh, you know, three time, and then we find it become five time. Did Allah make a mistake? This is a chapter eleven, verse one fourteen. And perform a salat. And by the way, the Muslim they say salat means blessing. Allah <laughs> yusalli ala Muhammad. It means blessing. So perform salat at the two end of the day and. When the night approach three times, that's it. You see it? Any Abdul? And by the way, praying five times, praying three times, actually, they should be praying 50 times. But the fault is the fault of Moshe. Muhammad, when he went to the seven heaven in the top of a flying donkey, which is happening in the Middle East always, you know, I used to go always to heaven, and, but it wasn't a flying donkey, it was a mule, to be honest with you. You know, and I used to have our time to jump on him because it's so big, according to Muhammad, it was so big. My The donkey of my grand grandfather was smaller. So I jumped on him and he went there and I heard the story, I was there, I was a witness. When Muhammad came down or he's in his way back, he did not see Allah. We don't know even what happened there. So. Uh, Moshe, he's a Jew, you know, Moshe Musa's. So he said to Muhammad, Khabibi Muhammad, come on, Khabibi. What Allah told you, Khabibi? So Muhammad, he told him, Allah, he told me to pray 50 times. Moshe, he said to him, Khabibi Muhammad, Muhammad Khabibi, 50 times Muhammad, 50 times Muhammad. Your people cannot do it, Muhammad. Go back to Allah Muhammad and negotiate with him, ask him for a discount. You know what he can say. I mean, Moses is a Jew at the end of the day. <laughs> he's a smart and he's asking for a discount. <laughs> Have you ever heard of such a stupid story? That there's a God, he enjoined his prophet to pray 50 prayer. And then there's a Jewish guy, his name is Moshe. Not Netanyahu, be careful, huh? Not Netanyahu. I'm telling you. Because, you know, those Christians, Jews, they can corrupt the hadith because they insert. I, I, I will not be surprised, by the way, if they created soon a hadith says Netanyahu. Just wait. Because the Muslims, they accuse the Jews for everything. So when the Prophet, the brother, he came back and Moshe, he said to him, Khabibi Muhammad, that's not the word, Khabibi. Your people cannot pray 50 times, time, Khabibi. I mean, 50 times, here you see how, how the stupidity of the Scott. Did Allah think for a second, how in the world those people will pray for 50 times a day? And this is a story in front of you. And Moshe, Moshe keeps saying to Muhammad, go back to Allah. So Allah, he make it 50, and then he make it 45, and then make it 40, and make it 35, and then <laughs> Muhammad going back forward, come back forward, forward. And Moshe, he said to him, Khabib, Muhammad, go back. Muhammad. I mean, isn't it, this is an insult even for Muhammad to be so stupid to the point he need a Jew to tell him what to do? And each time he go, he ask Allah for a discount. Then the prophet, he descended till he met Moses. Then Moses stopped him and asked, Oh, Muhammad, what did your Lord join upon you, Muhammad? Muhammad, he said, he enjoyed me upon me to perform 50 prayer. 
So Muslims, if not the Jews, you will be dizzy all day long praying 50 times. Let me reuse my calculator. Hold on. I'm very good in mathematics, by the way. That's why I do not need a calculator. Is the, by the way, we are the Arab. We are the first one who make a calculator. You know, we made the calculator. This is why there is a city in, in India. It's called Calcutta. You know why? Because we are the Arab. We calculated things there. And then we said, okay, you know, it was too many numbers. So we said, okay, you know what? This is where we did it. So from now on, we will call the city Calcutta. This is true story, Sahir Bukhari. Okay, take a, take a note, take a note. So if if the Muslim, he uh, he will he will sleep this, just eight hours, eight hours, okay? So now we have 16 hours. So divide 50 prior at 16. You have to pray three times an hour. And if the Muslim, he need between 15 to 20 minutes to do ablution, you don't even have enough for that. <laughs> this is without eating, without lunch, without dinner, without doing anything. What, you don't believe my story about Cal uh, Calcutta? You don't believe it? Here we go. Now they will make a video says, good some friends lie, you know, Calcutta, have nothing to do with the, you know, like, okay. Uh, okay, well, uh, we actually, all the cities in India, uh, they are created by the Arab. I can give you another another city. As an example, one of the biggest cities in India is called Jakarta. Hmm? Uh, Jakarta, which is in India, which is in the borders of Brazil, Alhamdulillah, mashallah, brother, Allahumma uh, salli ala Muhammad, Ali Muhammad. So anyway, uh, Jakarta, uh, oh, oh, the reason we gave it that name, because my grand 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 grandfather he was the companion of the prophet muhammad his name is jack so when he went there and he started doing dawah and then he was telling them if the prophet of allah he was lying to allah allah will cut his orta those indonesians don't speak english neither arabic so they heard him saying Jakarta, 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 Jack Orta. This is where the way in Jakarta is coming from. So I hope I convinced you and I told you the truth. Alhamdulillah. Hmm. What, you don't like my story? It's not convincing? I come on. I, hello? He told them if the Prophet of Allah is lying, Allah will cut his Orta. They said to him, what's your name? He said, Jack. Oh, Jack Orta. Okay. This is where you're coming from. You believe, you don't believe, I don't care. This is Ayyad Bukhari. You know? Hello? Any Abdul? And by the way, I just made it up. So don't, don't, don't. <laughs> this is what it's called fast thinking. Do we have any Abdul? from Jakarta <clears throat> hmm. if you are a Muslim feel free yeah I think this is the same guy who was shaking uh, the thing you know the thing <coughs> hello Wow, this guy is in the is in the in the halal disco. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> and his name is Abdul. Unbelievable! I mean, look how they are refuting me, man. I don't know what I can do now? I have to retreat. You guys don't believe me a story about Jakarta, don't you? I I I feel I feel really upset now because you, you don't believe a true story. You you just hurt your feeling my feeling. I mean, hey Muslims, if my story doesn't make sense, does this story in front of you make sense? <laughs> a guy he went to heaven in the top of a mule, and then the angel he asked the angels to open the door, they said to him, Who are you? <laughs> Why they don't know who is Jibreel? They cannot see from behind the door. They are angels. Who are you? The angels are asking Jibreel, who is 
who who is it like what the heck he said jibril jibril replied said uh jibril they said okay who is the company you like what i mean somebody make a hole in the door if those angels cannot see behind the door just make little hole man the head of the angels, their boss, this is their boss, Jibril, is coming and they do not know his voice. He said, open the door. How come they do not know his voice? Do you think Jibril's voice is the same as anyone's voice? Like this? Open the door. Uh, the angels said, who is this? Zach and Naik. I mean, come on. I mean, everybody can recognize the voice of Zachary Naik. How in the world those angels could not recognize Jibril? Bani Muhammadan? Who is here for the first time? If there's any one of you here for the first time? Anyone? If you are here for the first time, give us one. And honestly, I feel sorry for you. You will become addicted. You will cancel your cable TV and you will not watch any more comedy shows because Muhammad is the best comedy, especially with commentator, commentator like me. Jakarta. Hey, people, I want you now to tell everybody the origin of the word Jakarta. Okay? Because... Allah, he promised, if Muhammad is lying, he will cut his arta. Arta, arta, oh Jakarta. Muhammad, he make it farta. Big farta. Like what? This is the biggest fault Muhammad ever he did. When he promised, if he is lying, Allah will cut his arta, oh you Jakarta. That's really a big farta. Let us be honest here. Anyone? <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is an ultimate farta. <laughs> Unbelievable. So where is the Muhammadan? Is that how much fear Islam has? Nobody? Well, here we go. It says, if, look, read with me, my friend, if you are from Jakarta, it's, uh, uh, come on, just, just, uh, just listen to carefully, listen carefully, listen. It says, if the prophet is cutting, is, is lying, if Allah is fabric is is the prophet is fabricating Quran, Allah will cut his orta, and then like what the heck, Muhammad he died by his orta is cutting off. There's a there's a genius Muslim by the way, he wanted to refute me, and he did. Oh, we have a Muslim, maybe the same guy he wanna play uh, disco for me. <clears throat> Let us hope it's a real Muslim will answer a real man, not a kid. Okay, we will mute it until he answer. So Allah, he will cut his orta, and then we find that Muhammad, he himself, he admit that his orta is being cut on, cut off. How in the world such a thing happened? It's a miracle. And you people, you say Muhammad is not a prophet? If Muhammad is not a prophet, how he was predicting the way he will die? How? You tell me. Obviously, he is a prophet, a true prophet.
any Abdul we are calling this Abdul again I think he's playing games he don't want to answer so we mute the speaker calling so you guys you want to be annoyed if he answer we will put you with him on on air any Abdul yeah let us block him then supposedly by doing that they are disturbing me no my friend by doing that you are showing everybody how much fear you have from me may Allah protect your order so anyone from the followers of Allah the he we would like to call us anyone Any Muhammadan? I noticed that you guys are not sharing my videos. You know, I mean, uh, I don't know how, how sometimes people work. But don't you really believe that our videos deserve to be shared by millions, not only thousands? For me, I don't care, really. For me, I do my part. How many people learn? I cannot force people to learn, right? So I come here, I give you from my time many hours. After that, I cannot do more. You will lose nothing if you pause the video here and there. Facebook, Twitter, etc. Groups. Let people come and read. And feel free to download my videos too. Share them. If you would like to add the subtitle, translation, feel free. All right. For me, I do my best. And my best is to give you my time, give you my books. But I can do more. Any Mohammedan, he is a believer. He can call his sheikh to call me. Or he like to call me too. Muktaba, well, I don't know, the one, whoever texted me, I called him back, he did not answer, and then I blocked him. So I did not see a person, his name is Muktaba. I saw people, their name is Abdul. Until now, I did not see a person, his name. Maybe he's called, texting the wrong person, by the way. Any Muhammadan? anyone so as you see those people they believe in a God but they don't know even anything about him and all descriptions of this funny God is very weird and silly Allah he knows everything how he proved that he taught Adam the names how silly is that so I call my dog I call him Tutu and then I ask you, what is the name of my dog? You do not know. And then I tell you the name of my dog, and that will prove that I'm God. This book is not even fit for children. It's not even good for children. Do we have any Muhammadan? Reminder, reminder, soon we will stop coming in this ch the channel, not forever, but for some time, and we will start going live in the Arabian Prophet. So please don't forget uh, to subscribe. After we finish actually the, the, uh, the broadcast, I will post a comment with my Arabian Prophet account. You just click at the account there and you can join in that channel. All right?
Do we have any Muslim? Anyone? Any Muhammadan? Anyone? Okay, any two? I think I was making the wrong request. Any two? Any three? Any four? Any Jack Orta? I mean, any Jack Orta? <laughs> Unbelievable, man. By the way, guys, if I go to Jakarta, do you know how many Muslims will be waiting for me in the airport and they are holding flowers in their hands? I mean, can you guys just imagine? Just just to close your eyes and imagine Christian Prince going to Jakarta. And there is the lovely Mujahideen waiting for me with the flowers. And I say, I mean, come on, this is not really necessarily. I mean, what do you, why you spend your money for that? I was like, this is not really, I mean, should not do that. The Ustad, the the government, the government will be all the president of Jack, 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 uh, you know, Jack uh, Orta, you know. So he will like, Christian Prince is here, you know. And like I would say, like yeah, yeah, who, uh, who is talking, you know? And he will be waiting in the front of uh, uh, the airport, and uh, he will like, he will tell me. Uh, I want to give you some you know for the Ruth stuff you know and I say please don't do that why you want to do uh, you know so I say, he said no way here we are waiting for you all people of Jakarta are waiting for you they cannot even wait 